What's good, YouTube? We back in the basketball trenches with some more good content, and today we got another banger. Man, your boy Kawhi can't catch a break, man. Him and PG been catching strays all year, and it's all because of this low management situation, man. I'm going to keep it a buck, bro. Like, as somebody who just watch basketball, like, as a fan, I see the issue with that. But y'all be reaching, bro. I ain't even going front. I tore my ACL. And, like, and this is to say if the man was or is injured, after a while, I was still able to, you know, I was able to walk, you know, perfectly fine. Like, I could travel, go places, do whatever I want, you know, like, like a normal person, you know, just with a recovering ACL, you know, with a reconstructed ACL. So for y'all to reach this far because y'all saw this man at a game, it's crazy. I ain't gonna lie, it is funny though. It is funny. The jokes y'all be having that y'all just be pulling out on the regular be having me dead, bro. I ain't even going front. People troll all day. And I know they gotta see it. They gotta see this stuff sometimes. They gotta see it. I know if I'm Kawhi and I see it, I'm pulling off that that laugh, that ha ha ha. Pulling off that laugh. You know, when I see these memes, because, you know, if he do come back healthy, it's going to be scary. I ain't going to lie. It's going to be real scary. They're going to have a lot to think about. They're going to have a lot to think about. Why I say that? Because a healthy Paul George and a healthy Kawhi on the Clippers right now is kind of devastating. We ain't really get to witness it full-fledged, but if we do get a, a piece of that action full-blown, it's going to be scary. Y'all be reaching, bro. I ain't even going front. I want y'all to check this out. This is what fans have to say because they seen Kawhi at, I'm not sure if it's a baseball game or if it's a football game. And this was against the what? Colorado. I mean, not Colorado. Probably the Colorado Rockies. I ain't even going front. That's what I'm. Uh, that's my assumption. Y'all can let me know if I'm wrong in the comments below. But this is what people had to say about it. Check this out. And this is on Fadeaway World. And I'm happy for Fadeaway World because they really be getting the drop. You know, they they follow this type of stuff. And it be mad funny the things that they be catching because it be so, like, low-key. I be dead. I ain't even going front. So, yeah, what it say? The Saturday night game was the most anticipated events in the sports calendar. Uh, the day kicked off on a high note with a Lil Wayne concert for Colorado fans, including famous personalities like Offset, Key Glock, and among others. Kawhi Leonard appearance that caught the maximum attention primarily because the Clippers forward is known for maintaining a low profile, especially during the off season. traditionally opting to spend quality time with his family in San Diego and focusing on his workout regimen. Leonard decided to Break the norm and join the array of stars at the game. This is Kawhi at the game. And yeah, I want y'all to really get a good look at this because it is funny. I ain't even go up front, my boy. They saying he looked like he limped away, but he ain't limp. I mean, that's probably just his walk. And my son clean Gucci shoes, you know, Gucci sneaks, khakis from wherever, clean sweater, cap to the back. Black and they say he limped away. Look, this is what people had to say. Right? Everywhere but on the NBA court. <laughs> Bro's already limping before training camp even starts. Hope he doesn't get injured watching the game. Nah, that one was crazy. I'm not even going to lie. He looks unrecognizable with a hat on. Nah, you can tell that's Kawhi. Zero aura. Meat rotting. Kawhi leaves his house. Meat rotting. This is what I'm saying. Y'all need to chill. Another fan said he will have to rest after watching this game. Kawhi leaves his house. Nah. They really started wilding on old boy. I ain't even going front. And then what? They had a whole discussion on low management. I'm not sure how too deep they went into this. This could be for a whole separate Give me the highlight. conversation. I ain't even going to lie. Was going to go into it, but I see that's five minutes long. But yeah. Kawhi Leonard expected to be fully fit at the start of off season. So is he going to be fully fit? Let's check it out. 
As the 2023-2024 NBA season approaches, the LA Clippers have received encouraging news. Star player Kawhi Leonard is expected to be fully fit and ready to showcase his abilities from the outset. The head coach Tyron Lue, in a conversation with Cyrus XM NBA Radio, expressed optimism regarding not only Leonard, but also Paul George, stating that both players are anticipated to be 100% healthy by the time training camp hits. So this is another thing we're hearing about training camp. You know, we heard that the, the Dame deal might be, the Dame Dollar deal might be done by training camp. And we seeing that Kawhi Leonard and Paul George might be 100% by the time training camp starts. So the Clippers are expecting Kawhi Leonard and Paul George to be ready for training camp. When their ho- head coach, Ty Lue, joined Frank Escalosa and Brian Scalabrini, he gave an update on the superstars and discussed what kind of team they are when they're healthy. Let's check it out. In game one, you have all those stars out there. And Kawhi Leonard, you know, he has uh, 38 points, five rebounds, five assists. He he goes 13 of 24. He played basically 42 minutes in that game. Next game he plays, he plays one more game, and then he was done. I mean, when you have him available, you know, you're as good as any team in the league. What is the status for him for next season? Do you expect him to be ready for training camp for all systems go by October or 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 he might come along a little bit later. Yeah, um, we expect him to be ready by training camp. Um, um, he's done a great job of just rehabbing and getting his body to where he's trying to get it to, and um, he will be 100. percent You know, by the time training camp hits, and we just got to be ready for you know when training camp hits. You know, with our medical staff, and just making sure that we're doing the right thing as far as practices and games and um, making sure the minutes are right. And the same thing, you know, with PG, you know. And so um, when those two guys play, you know, we are an amazing team. And, you know, for me, I don't want our fans to be disappointed because these guys, you know, a lot of nights are playing through injuries. Like Kawhi in the second game against Phoenix, you know, that was a game where, you know, he probably shouldn't have played. Like you said, he still had 35 points. And, um, you know, and so it's just, it just frustrating. You know, as, as frustrating as it is for fans and, and for people to see, it's more frustrating for the players, you know. And so I've been coaching for three years with the Clippers, and, you know, not any of those three years have our two best players finished the season. So that could be yeah. frustrating because we know we have a lot of talent. We know we have a chance to win. You know, Lawrence Frank, Mark Hughes, Trent Redden, and, you know, Mr. Bomber put together a great team, a great roster. We just haven't been able to see him to be able to see that finished product at the end of the season. So that's what's frustrating. But don't think that these guys don't want to play or they don't want to compete. Um, it's just, you know, it's just things that happen. And so hopefully that we can just keep praying and, and, and hopefully we can just see our team at the end of the season, you know, fully healthy with Kawhi and PG on the floor. And when those guys don't play, the rest of our guys do a great job of just stepping up, being ready to go every single night. And so, you know, I'm just proud of the guys we got. And like I said, I'm just, for our Clipper fans, for the, you know, for for the city of LA, like, you know, we're we're, we're coming and uh, we're trying to do everything we can to make sure our guys are healthy and on the floor, and, and our players are doing the same thing. So, you know, don't get frustrated because it's a part of the the process, and unfortunately, it's a part of the game. You know, when a lot of guys, you know, around the league are being hurt and getting hurt, and so you know, just some things you can't prevent. And so, um, I just want to see our guys healthy, let us finish the season together, and then just kind of go from there because it's kind of hard to. Evaluate this, evaluate your team, you know, when your two best players, you know, haven't been able to play in the playoffs. Okay, well put, Talu. Well put. Y'all can let me know. <clears throat> y'all can let me know how y'all feel about that one in the comments below. He said it himself that they should be expected to be, you know, ready to play, you know, ready to ball out. And that, you know, it's hard to evaluate a team when his two guys is out, his his star guys, you know, which is why they should have acquired another star if this is going to be a continuing problem. But you heard it out of Ty Lue mouth himself. So even with the fans trolling, you know, Ty Lue himself is saying, trust the process. That's all that's about. (laughs) And like I said, let me know how y'all feel about that one in the comments below. It's the Basketball Trenches. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell to stay up to date on all content and stay plugged in like an extension cord. Let's get it.